Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the Midlands London on Transport Fever 2. In today's episode we're going to be trying to build some of the West Coast main liners. I think we've built enough stations for now to get us... Well, I just want to build a better bit of track, basically, and actually get some railway services going. So in this episode, I want to aim to get towards Watford Junction, if possible, with a couple of stations in between. So we've got so far, we've got King's Cross, got St Pancras and Euston Station. Uh, in the last episode, I couldn't find the circuit, the semicircular roof, which creates the new concourse. But obviously, it's 1995 at the minute, and this wasn't finished until the 2000s. So that's not quite available yet. I think I'm going to have to rebuild rebuild King's Cross because the semicircular roof you can see here you get an indication of how of what the sort of diameter radius is going to be so it's going to come out to about here if I put it in when it finally unlocks so I think I'll probably rebuild this a little bit off camera move this side station down a little bit and hopefully this kind of end bit will meet up with that a little bit more so it should look a little bit better but for now I'm pretty pleased with how it's looking in general I've been doing a little bit of work on the west coast mainland to try and improve things a little bit it is a little bit of a spaghetti mess but it's it's not too bad i know the the curves are a little bit exaggerated it should be more of well it is exaggerated because of the scale but uh yeah it's just it is what it is but i've got all the main junctions in as well so you get a flavor of the west coast main line i've even included these this junction here which is going to be for the Bakerloo line I believe it is I'm pretty sure it is so that's in there as well so we're going to have Bakerloo services as well so what I was thinking is I've got all this track out here I've had to do a lot of work with some of these some of these bridges in fact even oh no this is looking all right now some of the bridges were looking really weird like really segmented and things like that so I've used this bridge here I'm not sure which one this is but yeah I've, I've tried to improve things and oh, there's a pillar damn that's frustrating uh yeah i'm gonna to have to rebuild that bridge again yeah, i'm having real trouble with some of the modded bridges in particular where they're going really segmented on some of these curved sections like here where it's got to be a curve it's it's the only way around it so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that and let's maybe see if i can fix it now just quickly maybe i can just slew the track over a little bit and uh yeah try and fix that's a little bit frustrating i thought i had it down as well so um if we try and move it outwards we might have a little bit of filler in there let's do about there maybe down something let's try that and then let's try and put the second piece of track in and then can i just get this over to here is that glitching into with just just about misses that i think as long as we don't have pillars glitching over sleepers then you're pretty much safe on you're not going to have any fouling issues so yeah that that's actually not as bad as i thought it was going to be so good so we've got to here now everything because of the scale we're working to we've got an auto save that was pretty quick actually pretty painless because of the scale that we're working to every all the stations are going to be obviously closer together than they normally would be so we've got our six tracks coming back together so i'm slowly kind of getting to the point where i know what's what now I've, i was pretty sure that the the london overground service is called over to the east of euston station so they'll come up here on this sixth track and then they switch over using these uh one of these junctions here or do they i might have to play around with some of the switches and that and then this track here which track is it so no it should be at this point these tracks yeah so that's all fine yeah so we've got these two tracks on the to the east these need to be connected up which they are to these two tracks here and then the bakerloo line hitches up and then they goes under the west coast main line and then off to the west then for the uh dc line services so we need a building don't we so we're gonna have to use we still why why have we got oh i don't know let's just put a, a little tiny segment in it doesn't really matter so something like about here yes yeah let's let's just call it that for now possibly yeah configure this actually now what i wanted to do was get rid of that is put in it wants to be a 240 meter long station doesn't it that's what we want to do and it wants to be about there is the tracks are going to have to fan out a little bit in order for this to work so this is going to be what is this this is harrow harrow and weldstone wieldstone not sure there we go so, and then configure this and we want want to get rid of all the tracks to begin with now i'm not sure i know the dc lines obviously have third rail maybe third and fourth possibly but i'm not sure if they're overhead electrified as well because you do have freight services using the lines i think so i'm just going to have everything with overhead lines on it although it should be third rail so we've got two tracks down there another 
and then we're going to go to the King's Cross and we're going to use the new King's Cross station modules and then chuck these in along here and then another few platforms, no tracks even another pair so we've got like the up down fast and the up down slow on the west coast main line like so and then another few another set of king's cross platforms it is quite a big station this something like that and then another yeah so we've got yeah the up down fasts and then the kind of the london overground dc lines whatever you want to call them like so and then a few more segments of platform down the edge and then get rid of these older segments along here like so, so um, I've had a quick look at the station I haven't got my two screens at the minute so I can't quickly just have a quick look at the station I suppose I could do couldn't I, I could just alt and tab but I think for now I'll just put in a little bit of a representation of the station uh, it, it does have overpasses are they going to be do I want to use old or new I didn't or you can't see because the the overpasses are covered don't think they're not going to be ex escalators though are they so I think we'll go with just standard steps. I think I'll have two on each side just so it looks nice and even. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably going to be steps and elevators, isn't it? But I think I'll just go with that. What's that? That's escalators and lifts. So no, we'll just go with that for now. And right, what else do we want? We'll have some new benches down the side or down the middle rather. And then we want a roof. Looks, uh, what sort of roof do we have? Old, I think. Yeah, I think old probably suits it a little bit better. So we'll chuck those down there. I think it looks pretty much covered right throughout, you know, possibly. But I will, uh, I'll return to it if it doesn't look that accurate. And then just there. And then it does actually have a passenger building. I think it has a, like an older style passenger building. So passenger building, I haven't got. Have I not got stations forever? No, I haven't. Right, okay. So we'll just have to, for now, put on some steps. But I think it does have like an older style building. But we'll just go with that I think for now maybe and then tracks extended tracks platform passenger building where's where the walls gone are the, are the walls not a thing anymore extended no nope. passenger cargo misc is it in misc oh no it doesn't look like it has it so and we'll have to keep it like that and then try and get these tracks in to these platforms here so we're gonna have to demolish all of this anyway and then get this all connected up now I'm not sure which side is going to be the up down fast and which side is going to be the up down slow. So I will try and get these tracks in as to be as quickly as possible because obviously the well I don't think even the London Midland services stop here and certainly not the long distance ones. So I want it to be reasonably quick into the station and then yeah that would have been nice if they were touching just as they fan out but I don't think no we're not going to be able to do that are we so get rid of that terrain a little bit of smoothing. Not too much because we we do have that below sea level issue, don't we? Still, but not to worry. Get that in there, and then these can start to head off up towards Watford here. So we want all of these to be at a reasonable speed, 125. Well, I'm not sure if trains will be doing 125 at this stage, but we'll have. I would be nice to have that sort of speed heading into the station. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be particularly with this corner as well. I don't think we'll be getting up to 125, but it'd be nice if it could potentially and then we need to do something a little bit different here so we need a little bit of separation bring that right round and then we need a false station in here have I switched on the false stations I have how long do they want to be uh, length 200 200 no 160 maybe 120 that might that should be all right um, catenary yes standard tracks street connection no uh, no because it's not a station now I'm guessing because I was looking at this it doesn't appear to be a third platform or a seventh platform for the Bakerloo line services to turn around so I'm guessing this little bit which I'm putting in here now is the turn back facility for the Bakerloo services um, which it is it is going to have electrification although it, I don't think I can have can I have let's let's try this again can I put in catenary hmm so these false stations, it's, it's going to have to be catenary, I think, unfortunately. So we'll just have to have that there with catenary. And we'll just chuck catenary into there. So I'm guessing this is the turn back facility for the Bakerloo services. So they're not holding up the London Overground services. I'm guessing anyway, it would make sense, I think. So we'll chuck that into there. And then this track over there, like so. And then I think I'll have a couple of signals. We'll just go, just go in with two aspect throughout i think it just it's just so the trains aren't held up by a yellow signal which doesn't look very good it's 
better if it's red or green, doesn't it? Right, so we'll put that in there. I think we'll put a couple of signals on there and a few more on here as well. Not that there are going to be any of these services. Maybe some London Midland kind of commuter services stop here, possibly. But I'm not entirely sure. So we've got that station in there. And then we need to demolish demolish a bit. Um, yes, a lot of Watford, I think. Yeah, let's demolish all of this. Do I want to? I don't know if I want to demolish it and rebuild it, but I'm just thinking because what I'm going to build next is actually get rid of. Yeah, so we'll have that. I think I might actually I might actually rebuild Watford. Yes, I will. I mean, I'm going to add districts and things like that, so these you know there are more densely populated areas because you know it does look a little bit daft coming out of London into the green space. But at the minute, I just want to get the tracks in before I add anything else. So Watford was around here because what I want to do is first of all we'll go building we'll go with that 240 meters long and i want that where's where's milton Keynes? so we do actually want to be on a slight angle so what the junction is going to be about here here is it maybe a little bit further north where's milton Keynes? because i just wanted a nice a nice long run between watford and milton Keynes. but at the same time i just want what I want to add is Milton Keynes, what is it, Watford High Street I want to add as well, so we are a bit short on space, so I think what I'll do is, referring back to my, I know, I'll build that in a minute, no, I'll build it now, <laughs> right, let's, because this is slightly complicated, it's not mega, mega complicated, but it's co oh, complicated enough, let's try that again, configure, right, get rid of the tracks first, actually, what am I doing, right, we'll put the track in, like so, just this bit of track here, Good. And then what I need to do is, I think I'll get this track hooked up. So this is uh, the main line, isn't it? So that's the West Coast main line. A little bit of a curve coming into Watford, but it's still a 125. Obviously there will be West Coast services stopping at Watford. Not many, but there will be the certainly London, Mid well, London Midland, North London, North Western Railway. I keep calling them London Midland. Right. And then a building. It's uh, 120, about so where's where's the station the station itself starts here so it wants to be about here is that going to work it might do it is quite even like with with the without the exaggeration even in real life it is quite an, like an exaggerated curve coming in so i think what i will do is from from about here get rid of that track get rid of yeah up to about there i'm going to have it with catenary to about there and then I think I will go with wireless 120 kilometer, yeah, wireless track, and then we'll curve it off. Let's just see if, no, not, not that one actually, get this one, swing that straight in like so. I think that'll work. And then what I want to do is configure this station here. Might go with the old, tra actually no, get rid of this track because you can't add station track modules if there's track connected, can you? So we'll get rid of that. What sort of tracks do we have? I think we might have to go. Was that? Is that? I mean, there's purple dots, but that's letting me build it. That's okie dokie. So standard track, no masts with catenary. No nope. standard track, no masts with catenary. Wireless wood, wireless uh, wireless concrete. Oh, so it is. Even though they're purple dots, it is letting me build these things. Because usually, when it's a purple dot and you try and add it, it does that thing where it looks like it's going to crash. I think I'll just make this platform a little bit wider. Uh, King's Cross, we'll go with the old, I think. And then the track, so it was concrete wireless. Uh, I'm not really too bothered about the speed anyway. It doesn't, not not really overly concerned about that. Now that should be fine. Now the only thing with this is extended overpass. I need, what do you, you go up to that sort of height. Now I'm looking for... What, what do you do? Do you do you go up the side like that? Because what I want to do, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try it. I don't think it's going to work. I've, I have done this before on something, but I can't remember what I did it on. What station? I think it was the North. It was the North Power series. But I created an overpass road, an over road over bridge, which connected up to some stairs. But yeah, let's configure this. Can I add extended overpass? Is there any taller ones? That's what I'm looking for to make this taller. That's a standard support, so, tall bridge stairs. They go up land, don't they? Invisible platform, platform stairs. They're all the same. You're that way, you're that way. I can't remember how I did it now. Round, you have maybe if I, and that's converted it to the newer looking platform as well. So, did I just put some steps on the end and then have some steps up? Not sure. I'll figure that out later, I think. <laughs> that's a little bit too tricky for now. Right, so we want 
wireless tracks and then coming into there like that. It doesn't matter about the speed too much because it's slowing down anyway. Just want to return this track here and then we'll have, oh no, put it on the wrong side. Yeah, so I'm pretty certain these tracks at this point will be third rail only. I'm just not sure about the rest of the track because I'm pretty certain that like freight trains will be using this connection here because you got like the big Wembley depot and stuff like that, haven't you? Or you did do. I'm not sure if they demolished that for HS2. I know they've demolished some of it. Um, get this track in and then I think from about here, just bring that in. Now it does have wooden sleepers, maybe. Not sure what it, I'm sure he's, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure at this stage it would have been relayed, wouldn't it? So I think we'll go with concrete sleepers. It does mean we have to use 320 km an hour track, but it, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because of the curves and things like that, it's not going to be anywhere near that speed. It's just the maximum speed of the track, so we'll get that in there without any catenary. And then this one as well, we'll go with concrete sleepers. It's got to be modern at this stage, hasn't it? Even in 1995. And then wang that into there like that, then... Where does Watford, so I think we want to build a town, don't we? We'll build a small town for now, just about here, and that's Watford. And then this station obviously is Watford High Street there, good. So at least we've got that represented, and that all looks fine, that's all fine. Don't know what I'm going to do here, I probably will have to build a town, possibly. Well, yeah, I will do actually. Uh, lots and lots of towns around here to connect them all together to make one big london area i think but we've got that in there we're still good run up to milton Keynes, and then we need to configure this station here which is where it starts to get a little bit more tricky so get rid of get rid of that segment actually get rid of all the segments because they're using the old ones and we'll just use these running up so we do want full length 240 meter long platforms because we might have some virgin avanti services calling here and then what do we want as well? So we'll like some tracks, don't we? Actually, I think I'll put... No, 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 no. Wrong ones. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I st I'm still in two minds whether to use the Network Southeast platforms because they do look quite good. But I think the Watford platforms, from what I could tell, were more black anyway. So I think the King's Cross is probably a little bit more accurate. Or actually, no, no I didn't want to use the King's Cross because King's Cross platforms are quite, quite different, aren't they? With a the light thick fixtures i think i wanted to use the standard nl platforms because the standard nl platforms are black uh, but it's been a few weeks since i recorded an episode so or since i made that decision rather so i'd forgotten so we'll get rid of these platforms not the end of the world so we're going with platforms we're going with the nl ones because they have black signs i think which is more accurate for watford we still have the like the platform heights are all good so that's fine uh, did I want a segment down here? Possibly. So two and then a segment down here. So we've got the up down fast on the West Coast main line all sorted. And actually, no, just want that. And then we want, uh, let's say three and then two. I don't think this is going to be the full size Watford station because there is quite a lot going on. When, but we don't need all the platforms that it has. So we'll go with that. And then are we going to go with DC platforms? I think we should, shouldn't we actually? Seeing as we can, so we may as well go with them. So we are concrete wireless. Good. No, I didn't want that one there. So it looks to me from standard wireless concrete like there is a piece of track missing on this edge here. So I think we'll try and replicate that. And then we'll go platforms again. Actually, you know, having said that, let's get rid of get rid of this because I usually put two platform faces, well, a platform face per track, don't I? So double because of the capacity, but I don't think in this particular instance we really need it. So I think we'll go with, which one is it? Standard high speed. So it's one, two, three, four. We'll just have one platform face and then we'll have another platform down there, another track, one, two, three, four, to make it a little bit more accurate. And then we need, I think I'm gonna have to have a Usually there's just, looking on Google Maps, it just looks like there's a little bit of a walkway. Maybe can I, passenger building, what have we got? Maybe if I just have steps, and then that just means that's not connected up as well, doesn't it? No, we're going to have to go with platform, unfortunately. So this concourse area is going to have to be a little bit bigger than it is in real life. But I just want that connectivity, and then we need extended uh, MISC. So we're going to have to use that, get this all connected up. So I'll have the underpasses like that maybe no we don't need another one do it and then we'll go with passenger building and we'll have some steps along here 
like so, and then I think we'll go with the King's Cross roof. Uh, no, we'll go. Yeah, we'll have some King's Cross benches actually because they look quite good. Oh no, they revert it to that, do they? Okay, maybe not then. Get rid of you, uh, Misk. We'll have to go with the Anel bits and bobs. It's not the end of the world. Just chuck a few of them down there. Maybe a few more. Now, I couldn't remember if this has a roof or not. I think it might do. Again, I can always check, can't I? So I'll put a few, few roof segments over this. Uh, I don't think the overground lines have a roof, so we'll get rid of that. So, yeah, it's not uh, mega accurate Watford Junction, but it's, it's you know, some sort of representation of it. Now we need to get all of these lines in to this, so delete some of these back. Uh, what are we doing? High speed with catenary into there. Ooh, 73, that's a bit slow, isn't it? Right, get rid of some of this, a lot of this then. Because remember, we are going to have non-stop services which don't call at Watford. So 111, that will do, I think. So yeah, we do want a, I do want a reasonable speed coming into this. Get all this connected up like so. And then we just want to get this track here back a little bit. So I do want it to touch the West Coast Main Line briefly using the wireless high-speed track. And then this can... No, it's going to have to come right back. So this is... Yeah, bring this right back to about here. This is going to be very slow. It's, yeah, 37. It's it's not going to be travelling particularly fast anyway, is it? Because it's going to be speeding up and slowing down. So, yeah, I'll take that. And then we'll fan this one out to that platform there and that to there. And then we'll have to have some switches and whatnot to get all these tracks connected up. Now, I'm not sure what platform I'm going to use, but I will worry about that later. Maybe have another another switch around here where's that switch no maybe get rid of that one where's that one no one in there like so and then another switch there like that just so we can use all the platforms we've got full functionality then and then a little bit of a signal and another signal we don't need a signal on the approach station but i like to have one anyway and then yeah they're all just turn backs for the watford services like so so let's see I, this isn't um Let's have a look. So we're going... What? No, that's why it's saying Aylesbury. Did I change? No, I didn't. Okie dokie. Changed the wrong station name. So we're going Watford Junction. Add new line. What? No, not new line. Add new station. Already we've got a problem. Good. That's what we'd like to see. And then Harrow and Wildstone and Euston. And let's see. Lots and lots of broken things here. You're on the wrong platform probably to begin with. Line one. No, you want to be on platform seven. So is this going to work? No, no, it's not happy, is it? You're probably both on the wrong platforms. Yes, you are. Two on two on one and six on two. And then obviously we're going to have to re-platform these as well. So three on five and five on six. Good. Coming down to Houston, we're going to have terminals for... Wait, why isn't the service there? All right, we'll have to do it from here. It's not letting me do anything, actually. What's no? Right, get rid of... I've connected that again to the wrong station used because I haven't unpaused. Let's unpause the game then. That might help me name this to Houston and then get rid of Houston and then put that on the right station this time. So we've sort of getting there, but we have to figure out now. Let's keep keep the line there. So you should really be. I'm probably going to have to put some waypoints or something in on this. That's coming into that one anyway. Is there a junction there? Possibly. Maybe need a. A switch we will have catenary on this so i'll have a switch around here i think now i'm not sure if all of these switches are accurate but i think i'm just going to try and do it so it's usable so manage line coming from harrow and weldstone and then i'm going to use the signals as our triggers waypoints like so so good we've got and that is going on to um to that platform there so we're coming down why can't you return that's a one-way signal think can i get a so i might just be able to get a switch in there which i can good so you should now switch coming down from here you want to switch on to this track here coming down and then and then what right so you need to get some way of getting from from where so what happens here so this track okay, so i think i might have to put another switch on here and then put a one-way signal on there yeah good and then I think, is that a switch on there? Maybe if I get rid of that. Yeah, it's not, it's probably not going to be super accurate, but I, it, as long as it's not miles away from the truth or the, what's there in real life and it's usable, then I'm not really overly concerned. So we've got that in there. We want to switch on here. Now, do we? What is this? It is, it is all very complicated, all this arrangement. I'm not sure why. Um, 
does it use this bit here or this junction here no i don't think it does does it so it does want to be in this tunnel i think so this actually that bit of isn't any much use to anyone and then for the return hmm, this is quite complicated isn't it well, that's not a maybe i don't do i want to use a double slip let's see what that's done there we go so we're using this track here bi-directional for a little section I'm, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have this sort of bi-directional running because there is a lot of track there but for now i think that's the only way we're going to get it to uh, to work so i think what i'll do is i'll get a couple of trains and yeah, don't need to worry about that, do I? So what do we want to do? We want to just chuck in some track around here. So I think for now, I'll just chuck it on here. And then building, we want a the little depot. Doesn't really matter at the minute. And then what we're going to have to use is, go away, build vehicle, is electrical multiple units. And we're going to go with four two ones. Now, I don't think these are anyway, in any way accurate. I think you need three one threes, but they are third rail. So I think I'm going to go with one of them for now, or three of them. And then I'm just going to chuck them online. Two. Why are you broken? It's going to be, could not connect to all stations. But well, you are connecting to all stations though. It's, it says it can't, but it, it obviously can. Don't know why you've gone into that platform. Is it just that it couldn't get from that platform to there? Don't know. It should be able to. Look, it's fine. But it, it's doing what it needs to do anyway. So yeah, we will, yeah, leave it doing what it's doing until it comes to a grinding halt. So I think what I'll do is I might do a little bit of paint just to make things look a little bit tidier. And then I might leave you with an actual cab ride from Euston up towards Watford Junction. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. A little bit of tidying off camera and then I'll give you your first cab ride up to Watford Junction. So I'm going to leave it there for today and say until next time, bye bye.